Crooked Joe is sending a message to the world that he rewards illegal entry. And don't kid yourself, the ones that are hurt the most, the black population, the Hispanic population, this is a mass entry into our country, and the unions are getting absolutely killed by it. All an illegal alien has to do is sign up for his new program. It's a sham marriage or college degree. And that was former President Trump slamming President Biden's new immigration plan yesterday, warning about its impact on minority communities. As you know, Biden granting amnesty to up to half a million migrants living in the United States illegally. This gives the spouses of immigrants three years to apply for permanent citizenship. Biden says this will be great for the economy. Watch. I'm announcing new measures to clarify and speed up work visas to help people we need to have grow, to see our economy grow. That's the right thing to do. I want to keep building the strongest economy in the world with the best workforce in the world. Joining me now is Utah Congressman Burgess Owens, a member of the House Education and Transportation <laughs> Committees. Congressman, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. What is Thank your reaction to the president's um, amnesty new law here, this executive order? Well, Mira, this, this gives you an idea of uh, where the priorities are with this president. Oh, he had, he has, he's had a choice over the last three years to really work for the American people or to build their power base. Uh, in, the, in the state of Utah, we're now paying on an average of, uh, of $1,217 extra per month than we did uh, to, uh, back in uh, uh, three years ago. That's $15,000 hit on any uh, of our of a middle class, our working class, and, and it, it, it impacts us in a big, big way. So what we have here is, is, a, is we have a party that instead of focusing on making sure the American people are working, that are, are moving forward, they're trying to find their power by replacing us, replacing us with people who do not understand our culture, do not understand our American way, uh, and come here without an understanding even how to give back to our country. But it gives them power because it gives them more votes. Uh, it is very devious. Uh, I think it's evil. It's what it's really what it comes down to. And American people waking up to it. And I'm thankful that we're just a few months away from making a big change because we need to get our country back in a big way. Well, I mean, are they waking up to it? I mean, do you think people are really waking up to it. it. It's so extraordinary to me. All of these things that we're talking about every single day, <clears throat> the policies of the open border, the policies of the spending leading to inflation. Are we living on a, an alternative planet that, that, that this could be happening and this is okay and they're still neck and neck, these two? I, I, I'll, I'll say this. Uh, I've been waiting for this moment for 40 years, Maria. I woke up uh, 40 years ago when Reagan was president to what the Democratic Party has been doing to my race for, for decades. Uh, look around the country now. You see blacks, Hispanics, uh, Jewish Americans. Uh, we're all feeling the same pain. It doesn't matter really what, what party we're part of. We feel pain. And when America starts feeling pain, we start talking to each other. We start trying to figure out what can we do to get out of this. So Biden has been a great unifier. He's brought us together in a way that really only he could have done because he's brought so much misery to the American people yeah. that we want something different. Well, and we're sick and tired of it. Uh, so it's, I'm, it's, I'm excited about where we are. We're going to make some big changes. I'm glad you brought up the black vote and the sentiment for black America <laughs> because we've got new polling from USA Today and Suffolk University. They find black voters are moving away from President Biden in two key swing states. Biden is down to 56 percent in Pennsylvania. He was at 76 percent just four years ago. He's also down to 54 percent in Michigan. That's down 22 percent. Uh, points from 2022. And, you know, uh, CNN can't believe it. Here's a CNN data analyst reacting to those numbers for Biden. Watch this, Congressman. Look at black voters under the age of 50. Holy cow, folks. Holy cow. Look at this. Joe Biden was up by 80 points among this group back at this point in 2020. Look at where that margin has careened down towards. It's now just, get this, 37 points. That lead has dropped by more than half, Mr. Berman. Home. I, I, I just never seen anything like this. I'm like speechless. He's speechless. Your thoughts, Congressman. How has this happened? And you're saying just a moment ago, you said this is what you're seeing in communities across America. Is that right? They're speechless because the left has always been racist. They've always been bigots. Uh, they're speechless because they do not believe uh, that we do not speak with, think with our skin. Uh, they, they, they're speechless because they believe all they have to do is give misery and we become so dependent that we don't think anymore. Now, what's happening right now is American people across the board, we're asking those questions. We want to live the American dream. We want our families to grow. We want our kids to be educated. We want to have our businesses be safe every single day. And guess what? If we don't have that, we can look for options. It's just within our DNA. We do not believe that uh, bullies should run us. Uh, we do not believe in dictatorship. So I'm thankful that the, the black community, which I've always thought, we come back 
back to our basic base, our baseline, our conservative values, we're going to make an impact on our country that will be looked at as historic. And that's what's happening right now. Americans, uh, black Americans, Hispanic Americans, Jewish Americans, all of us are realizing we have a very special, unique culture. Now it's time to fight for it. We want our, our families be, to grow and be prosperous. And this is the way to get it done. Tr President Trump. Uh, in 2024 will, will allow us to get back to uh, to the, the country we've always envisioned and we want to be, be together on for sure. Well, this is an important voting block. I know that. And, and do you think this could be uh, something that tips the election? Uh, there's no question. Uh, keep in mind, uh, we've been up until this recently, 90 percent of us have been voting uh, uh, in herd, like a herd, herd uh, mentality with the Democratic Party. Wow. All it takes is 70 percent of us or 30 percent of us to drop. And that's what's happening right now, particularly black men that are tired of being put down, tired of being, tired of being demeaned and disrespected. So we're coming back. And once we come back, yeah. we'll never, ever go back to the Democratic Party. It's lost us. I want to go back to the border for a second, because the sanctuary city of Denver, Colorado, reportedly sending illegal migrants migrants to Utah, your state. Roughly 2,000 have been sent so far. This is from your governor. The Utah officials say shelters and resources for migrants are fully depleted. Utah Governor Spencer J. Cox writes this on X. We recently learned that the Democrat mayor of Denver has been sending illegal migrants to Utah without proper notification or approval. This is completely unacceptable and it follows on the failed catch and release policy of the Biden administration. Congressman, are you aware of this? What can you tell us about these 2,000 <coughs> illegals that have been sent from Denver to your state? We're We've been aware of it for quite a few months. I've, get, I've been getting together with my mayors and my district trying to figure out how, how to, uh, to, um, to find the proof. I'm glad we have the proof now. It, it says a lot about the heart, the heart, uh, the heart hearts of the, the leftists, the Marxist left. You have, a, you have a city, Denver, they are sanctuary, which says they welcome these people to come in there. And then once they get there, they just push them out any place across the country without any support, any desire to wonder what's, going, what's happening with them. This is truly a very hard-hearted people. Uh, uh, ideology and a, and a group. Again, they break people in and care less what happens to them once they get here. Unbelievable. Well, look, this was the issue that uh, ripped across Europe in the last week, right? European parliamentary elections mm -hmm. uh, was a real victory for conservatives because of this issue, illegal migration. This, this issue is what's, what's really bringing America together. Realize that the Democratic Party does not care about the American people. Uh, and that's, that's what we, we wanted to see this. We wanted to see proof. This president has allowed us to see in every way possible what, yeah. every, what's going on, and we're, we're just going to stand up against it. Congressman, we're going to keep a spotlight on it. We so appreciate your time this morning. Thank you, sir.